Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen and I would like to welcome you back to Dark Souls. Last episode, you got not only one, but two boss fights. One true was cheesed, but we ended up finding out some neat little information and sadly our shrine maiden is gone so our flame has been snuffed out. But there's some more uh... There's some more chatting we have to do now that we've rang the second bell. Someone new has shown up. And we are slowly making our way back to avenging our shrine main. Let's go see what our optimistic leader, who's always happy to see us and talk with us, has to say. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Oh, what, what, what is that? Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Oh, I wonder what he's talking about. Oh, maybe. Yep, and then he just repeats that. He, he no, he's no longer the. I don't feel like chatting. But no, now he's like, oh, maybe I should do something about it. Do you have anything new to say to us? Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. No, well, I haven't. What, 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 what spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Ah. <sighs> well, there's a theme we're going for. And uh, here's the thing: if you say yes, he's going to leave and go to the Great Swamp to try and find your pyromancy flame. However, if you say no, he will stay here. There's something that I'm going for in this current go through of the game, and yes. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. The sad thing is, he's going to go off and try and find her now. And he's going to go hollow in the swamps. So we will have to deal with him whenever we get back down there. So if there's anything you need to buy, now's the time. Luckily, he does not have too much. Ah, uh, I do want the fire orb. I want the fire orb. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't so, you dare go alone. Let's let's pop some souls, because I want that. Uh, as I stated. Oh, oh, that one was a bit too much. Oh, don't jump away from Thank him. You I'm still I mean, yeah. This is your last chance to buy stuff from him. Goodbye. So be safe, friend. Don't you dare go all day. Yeah, but you will. We're gonna miss you, guy. Oh, really? We're just a little bit off. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Just a little bit off. Goodness gracious. Boom. That should do us. Yep. Now. Thank you for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, b -b -b purchase item. Tongue of display. Pyromancy, which improves upon fireballs, hurls fire orbs. Which we want. Yes. Um, these are some nice ones. Combustion, I've seen used a good bit. Elementary pyromancy creates flame in hand. Which, I believe this was the one that... No, it may be another one. I forget. But, this was the one that was used in speedruns, I believe. Uh, Iron Flesh. Pyromancy of... Kamina, who harnesses the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Iron flesh boosts defense and resilience, which resilience is garbage tier. But it's still pretty nice if you want to take less damage. Flash Sweat, Pyromancy of Kamina, who harnesses the power of flame to utilize the inner self. Intense sweating reduces flame damage. 
Pamir is the most accomplished pupil of the Salomon, of the Pyro Master of Pyromancer, cannot read, pioneered new dif uh, directions of the art of pyromancy. Use pyromancy requires caution as the caster becomes exceedingly heavy and una unable to move freely. One of the most basic pyromancies for all reasons, the flame thus created is fierce. Fantastic. Well, pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm going to be I sad when we kill you. you. I'm going to miss you. And yes, if you see that massive monstrosity back there, that is the thing that snores. That is the one that's been messing with our friend and said he has the lethal breath and one maybe, maybe I should do something about it. We are not talking to you yet. We have other things to tend to. Uh... Priest, do you have anything interesting to say to us? Oh, I'm so, so Nope. Nothing at all. So, what we are going to do now, since sadly we don't have an Estus... Well, we don't have a bonfire right now. Let's see here. Alright, sorry about that cut. I had to sneeze. Um, Soul of Quaylag. Acquires many souls or creates a unique weapon. This is our first boss soul. And you can do two things with these. You can either break them for a large quantity of souls up front. Or you can trade them in later in the game to acquire that boss's weapon. And they also have lore that looks into it. So, let's do it. Soul of Quelag, once daughter of the Witch of Izalith, but now a Chaos Demon. Special beings have special souls. The Quelag's soul contains all aspects of chaos. Use it to acquire a huge amount of souls, or create a unique weapon. <laughs> Sadly, not too much lore there, but interesting little tidbit. And now, we're going where I planned to today. Um, this episode may be rather uninteresting. I gave you two bosses yesterday, so today we're just going to, or yesterday, yeah. Um, so today we are going to be mostly, uh, did we make it? Yes. Today we're mostly going to be searching for a certain kind of weapon, and it'll be a lot of trial and error, a lot of cutting in and out, and probably a good bit of dying if I don't find, um exactly what it is I'm looking for. Ooh, Undead Asylum Key. But, until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So, I hope you're looking forward to it. Can we make that? Yes, we can. Because I am awesome. Uh, now we have to go back up. <laughs> because I wanted those chests. But yeah, it's going to be trial and error, trying to find a specific weapon, taking care of a maybe a specific boss. I don't think we will be getting to it because he's quite a ways out, but I will give it an attempt. Um, fall damage in this game is percentile depending on how far you fall. It does not matter how much health you have. Let's open up all these chests. Do not back away from them. Cracked red eye orb. And Morning Star and a Talisman. Good for faith. Talisman allows you to cast faith spells. And uh, six homeward bones. Holy snap. That's a good number. And Lloyd's Talisman, which is for mimics later on in the series. Now, we are within the 
graveyard. And, wow, you guys are actually kind of annoying, aren't you? Kind of. I've never really went to the graveyard this early. So, it's kind of interesting now to find that they don't go down with one swing. It's kind of like, how dare they not fall to my might? You are nothing but common skeletons found at the beginning of every adventurer's journey. You will bow to me. You will crumble before my might, like the pile of bones you are. Oh, great. Now we got multiple of them. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Back it on up. Back it on up, fools. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I died. That's not... That is not too reassuring for what we have to do now. And I think we're all the way back in the swamps. Yes, we're all the way back in Blighttown. <gasps> Fantastic. I'll meet you back there. Oh my. Well. It seems that our leader is gone. I wonder where he went off to. Huh. He can take care of himself. I have confidence in him. However, our pyromancy buddy is now gone as well. They have continued onwards with their own journeys, and we must do the same. So we are going back to... Uh, really? I gotta go all the way around? I don't want to talk to you, snake face. Technically, that is a snake right there. They're called the primor a primordial serpent. And they've been around, like, forever. So, yeah, yay for him. However, we don't care too much about you, good sir. Because there's someone else down the line that we want to meet. Okay. Come here. There we go. Really? You still stand up to me? Fall before my feet, peasant. You're simply a knave compared to my prowess. Oh shit. Fall. Fall. Fall, I command you. Please fall? Thank you. Okay, maybe a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Alright, so now we are going to take our souls. And... No, I got paranoid. I thought those bones were coming back up. Ow. Uh, that little meter right there, that is bleed. It is not fun to have built up on you. This time, I'm going to try something a little different. Taste my flame! What the hell? Really? All of you shall taste my flame! Aha! Glorious! Sweet, we did it! That was like four of them in one big... Well, three of them in one big one. And what were they guarding? A very good greatsword. Which, that greatsword is actually pretty decent. Please, just go down. Thank you. We get spear, pretty decent. Spears are overall pretty well rounded in this game. I don't think I've ever seen anyone really talk badly about spear weapons and halberds. If anything, if I remember correctly from what one of my Twitch chatters was saying, ooh, cool binoculars. And look at that view down there. Beautiful. Um 
the Black Knight Halberd's actually one of the best weapons in the game. I've never actually tried it, and I thought about doing it for this playthrough, but I like to do themes. Ha, uh, we kicked that skull. Bye, skull. But, um, I like to do themes more than I like to do, like, min-maxing and what's the best optimized with whatever. So, yeah, that's my whole take on it. The catacombs. So, yep, we got this to deal with now. We got undead hordes. Well, these skulls blow up. When you get close to them, they are very annoying. Oh, shit. That's right. Skeletons come back now. Because there is a necromancer here. Come on, blow up. Thank you. All right, there we go. Yes, this skeleton will keep coming back. Okay, there we go. Till we kill the necromancer, they will continue to return. And it is quite bothersome. Oh shit! Really? They pulled the Dark Souls trick on me and I fell for it like a sucker. Drop down. What? Really? Okay. Please just die. Thank you. Get you in the back. Yeah! Take it, bony butt. Oh, snap! I'm starting to get overwhelmed. Starting to get overwhelmed pretty quickly. Whoa, 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 I'm stuck in a corner. And they were wailing on me. Ah! Back to the fudging swamp! I have decided for the sake of my sanity and not wanting to just be two hours of me dying in five minutes of content, um, I am going to put off finalizing our theme until I have my fire keeper back which should not be too far off but yeah I I need this bonfire and it's a pain in the rear to keep going back to blight town every time I die there so I will meet you at a better starting point to our next destination which is going to be sin's funhouse I'll meet you there I've decided to take a small little detour because it's time for us to get, or at least try to get some revenge on a fellow that has humiliated us and besmirched our honor and our name. We cannot, we failed horribly to skeletons, but we will not fail to you, sir, I hope. I need you to... Really? That didn't hit you? Okay, that's fine. There we go, that hit you though. Huh? Yeah, I remember how you work now. There you go. Great sword users. These guys are very, very poor at uh, protecting their flank. I completely forgot if I had just at least tried, I would have gotten him earlier. Oh, thank glorious golliness. I don't know where I got golliness from. I was going to say God, but I don't know why I wussed out on it. But anyways, we finally made it back to a bonfire. Let's see if there's our if our friend downstairs could do anything to help out our uh, our weapon situation. I had to go fight that black knight. He ruined our honor. We had to go fix it. Um, also, I decided we got the first half of our theme going. We'll finish up the other half whenever it time comes. That's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Lend it to you by give it to you, you mean. And sure. Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. 
I like you, old dude. You remind me of Zeus. Get you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go play at Sin's Funhouse for a bit. We're going to try and make our way to the bonfire. Get through some, uh... Some questionable areas. And then on my off time, I'm going to farm up some Titanite shards. But right now, we have, uh... We have some interesting people to play with. Oh my goodness, is he not here? He's not here now! Aw, oh, sadness. I'm sorry, I made you all miss out on the best character. Well, he's not completely missed out yet. But I have to... I have to double check and make sure I didn't ruin it. Come on. I see you guys up there. These big old snaky dudes. They're very bothersome. And that's a snake... Tra and that's a trap right there. Really? That did Really? That didn't... Count as a hit? Okay. That's weird. I could have swore I... I guess I didn't. Okay. That was weird, but I'll take it, I guess. That didn't count as a repost. I'm baffled. There we go. That did, though. These big things are what we are going to have to worry about now. They are primarily what takes up the bulk of Sin's Funhouse. Which is technically Sin's Fortress, but... Ever since I started playing this game and people have corrected me, it is now Sin's Funhouse to me. Because there's a lot of, uh... A lot of fun to be had here. Pendulums! Who doesn't love good medieval pendulums? And that's not even the worst of it. There's a guy up there that chucks lightning at you. So that's fantastic. Oh wow. If I was closer that would have hit. Oh. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. Please, just get knocked off the bridge. I can't, for some reason, I can't bring myself to parry you today. Really, no! No! <laughs> Why did my parry not... Well, oh goodness, I can't parry for shit today. But they do get 500 souls, so it's a nice place to, uh, you know, to grind if you need those levels. However, I've always found, I think I've mentioned this before, but I've always found that Dark Souls, it levels you appropriately wherever you are. I mean, I've never felt like I was underleveled going into anything. Oh, that would have reposted, but I wasn't close enough. Ah, oh, that was a big windup. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now I'm getting back into the giant things. Also, I don't know if you noticed, there's guys down there as well willing to do crazy stuff to you. Nope. Big wind up. Nope. Whew. Very close. I forgot how tough this place was as a lower level. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you don't know what you're doing, you're going to die here a good bit. Normally I could just walk straight through that, but that's with a full paladin build and a plus five grant. Now we have you to deal with. Back off, back it off. Back off of me, fool. I said back. 
I can't help but feel like my sword is not doing nearly enough damage as it should. Uh, maybe because at this point I was using a bastard sword. Just to let you know, that's another, uh, that's another trap right there. You can pretty much see them, however, if you're new, you're going to run over them. And then there's you right there, you sneaky little, what you want to call it. Hey! There's our introduction to the boulders. Oh, wow. And then he gets run over again. There we go. Can we try and push you outside? No, 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 no. Do not lock onto him. There we go. Do not wake up that one. We don't need any more trouble than we've already gotten ourselves into. Okay. Fantastic. We need the next boulder to go by, and then we're just going to sprint for it. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Uh, 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 uh. Up. Up the stairs. And now, traverse the white light. Okay. Nothing horrible's here yet. And here comes the boulder. Come on, snake. I need you to come after me. I want you to come after me. He will eventually follow you and he will get just barraged by boulders. Is he not following? Oh, no, there you are. Get out. Aha! Aha! There we go. Cheap and easy. Just the way I like my enemies. And stupid. Alright. Yeah, that's just a little cheese strat I always do. Just because I have time to waste. For now, I won't be doing that, but... Yeah. Ring of Steel Protection. Fantastic item. Easily replaces the blue tier stone ring. And it just reduces damage that you receive from all ends. Alright. Now, I need you to come down, boulder. Alright, so... There we go. A shuttle. Or however you pronounce it. That's what those things were using. And now, I get to introduce you to the glory that is our friend, the Onionite. If you want to be a dick, you can push him off right here. But I would highly not suggest it because he is a cool dude. And I'm sorry for not bringing him to your attention sooner. I really am. He, he has some... It's not interesting, but his company's always enjoyed. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Dietmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I run flat up against a wall. Or a ball, to be precise. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Siegfried, we love you. Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head would spin. My head mm. would spin. And it's true. Like, well, it's not true, true, but also take note. He killed all these guys by himself. So good on you, bud. Um, but yeah, in heavy armor, it's very hard to roll. And he has very heavy armor. Extremely heavy armor. All right. Come on, boulder. All right, good deal. That goes through. Run, 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 run. Run for our lives. Okay. Now there is another trap right there. Uh, let me see. Is this guy going to come? Nope. And if you notice, there's a slit right here. It normally tricks you and think, oh, it's going to be right as soon as I hit it. No, it's not. 
Come on. I see you in there. Haha, -ha, all three find his mark. Cool deal. Right here, another boulder you gotta be careful of. Flee, 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 flee. Luckily for me, I know the majority of this place, like the back of my hand, so I'm not going to be losing out on too much. There we go. Or not being surprised by too much. Large soul of a proud knight. Fantastic. We're going to go up here. And then we're going to take you. Sorcerer hat. Oh wow, we know a sorcerer. I wonder if this what happened to him. Hmm. Well, never know. Open up this. And that's the majority of the way we want to go, the main way. However, there is one little interesting area I want to show to you. And I know this episode is going to be rather long. Please take note, on that elevator, blood spots. Please take note of that. Oh, snap. Okay, come on, get off, get off, get off. Alright. So. Take note here. This chest, I understand that it's like, oh, up till this point, it's just been chests. They're always fun to open. Please take note, this chest is very awkwardly placed. It is not up against the wall. It is not by any means, like, in a good position. Even the way that it's facing when you come down is not, well, straight off. And that's because it's a mimic. And these things are dangerous. These things are very dangerous. If they grab you, they will devour you, and it's not a good time. Ooh, let's see if we can dance around it. Dance around it, dance around it. Whew. No, 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 no. Back off. Back off, buddy. Back off. Oh, really? He staggered forward and stopped the rest of my combos. Okay. I mostly just use these pillars to try and duck around him and such. As you see me doing now. Whew. Oh, God. This is a bad situation. No! Who? 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 That grab, he will eat you. No. Oh, thank goodness. I think he just got the cusp of my shield. Oh! Lightning spear. Pretty good weapon. Enjoy. This right here, another boulder will come. So, eventually. Yep, there it is. That leads down there. That leads up there. Do not run up there. It's pretty much suicide. You will get barraged by boulders endlessly. Instead, take this elevator and just keep running. Keep running. Up at the very top. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh no. Whew. I went the wrong way. Up at the very top up there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's spikes. I fell for it my first time. It's horrible. It's sad. So yeah. Be cautious. Alright, this way no boulders are. And now what we're going to do is we are going to push this lever. Alright, which way does that push this boulder? Aha. Fantastic. And now you see this... The reason you're seeing damage down there is... What is currently getting hit is the snake that was sleeping up against the wall. So now we're just going to enjoy the fruits of our labor and watch him die fantastic one more should do it and boom we also get the souls for it fantastic and now we have the other half of the fortress to go towards but 
I think we're going to save the last half for this uh, for the next episode. We've gone a good way through here, but there's still more to do, and there's still more things that can kill me horribly. So, with that, it will conclude today's episode. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great evening. I, this is Valen, and I have a lot of editing to do with this video. <laughs> See ya!